Volodymyr Zelensky a l'honneur à Davos. Après bientôt deux ans de guerre, le président ukrainien veut remobiliser ses alliés occidentaux dont l'attention est détournée vers le conflit dans la bande de Gaza. Et surtout les convaincre de continuer à soutenir financièrement l'Ukraine qui, après l'échec de sa contre-offensive, fait face à une intensification des attaques russes. Dans son discours, il a notamment déploré la stagnation de la situation. Can freezing the war in Ukraine be its end? I don't want to settle for the truism that any frozen conflict will eventually reignite. And I remind you that after after 2014, there were attempts to freeze the war in Donbas. There were very, very influential guarantors of those, of those, by, by the way, of those process that the Chancellor of Germany and the President of France, but Putin, Putin is a predator who is not satisfied with the frozen products. 2024 must be a decisive year for Ukraine and Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. This is what the President Volodymyr Zelensky said here at the World Economic Forum annual meeting in Davos. He said that every time in the past when Ukraine asked for more weapons, more sanctions, more support and more measures against Russia, Ukraine was taught not to escalate. But in fact, he said that escalation would have taught Russia a lot. He also said that none of Moscow's threats came through. Each came out as bluff. Now, Volodymyr Zelensky here in Davos is having a number of meetings, but his main message here is for the world to put an end with just and stable peace to the war in Ukraine. And he is inviting the allies to be part of this. Sasha Vakulina from Davos for Euronews.